The point 0, 0,5 lies on the terminal side of theta. Find the six trig function values of theta. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So 0, 0,5 is going to be like right here. So here's the point 0, 0,5. And then here's the angle. So we're basically finding um, the six trig function values of pi over 2. Now, um, this type of problem is usually done before you even learn uh, about you know, the trig function values of pi over 2. So we're going to do this using a different approach. So the first step uh, in this problem is to identify the x and the y. And then we're going to find r. So r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So this is equal to the square root of so x is 0, so this is 0 squared, plus, and then y is 5, so this is 5 squared. So we have the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So we have that r is equal to 5. All right, so now we can start writing down the answers. There's formulas we can use. So the sine of theta is given by the formula y over r. So in this case, uh, y is 5, so it would just be 5, and r is 5. So 5 over 5, so we get 1. The cosine of theta is given by the formula x over r. In this case, x is 0, so we have 0 over 5, so we get 0. And lastly, the tangent of theta is given by the formula y over x. So that would be 5 over 0. So that would be undefined. You cannot have 0 on the bottom ever. So the tangent of theta would be undefined in this case. Let's find the uh, reciprocal functions. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant of theta. So we basically take 1 and we flip it, so it's just 1, because 1 is really 1 over 1, and when you flip it, you just get 1 over 1, so that's just 1. The reciprocal of cosine is the secant function. So we're basically taking 0 over 5 and flipping it, so that would give us 5 over 0, which is no good, so that's undefined. So the reciprocal of cosine is secant, and flipping it would give us something that is undefined. And the reciprocal of cotangent, of tangent rather, is cotangent. So uh, it would just be x over y. x here is 0. y is 5. So we just end up with 0. Whenever you have 0 up top, the whole thing becomes 0. And those would be the six trig function values.